It is impossible to talk about data without talking about software. Because without software, much of the data that exists is essentially useless. Software is what allows us to take data and translate it and analyze it so that human beings can actually use it for the common good. And there is a lot of data out there. So it is always amazing to me to think about the fact that if you, if you took all the knowledge, all the information, all the data that exists in the world from this moment back to the beginning of human history, that 98% of that was created in the last two years. We are already living at a time of an exponential increase in data that is, I think, frankly, impossible to see where that future will take us. But it is clear that Europe and the world are at the beginning of an industrial revolution, much of it which will be driven by the technology that we're going to be talking about today at the Digital Festival. So whether that's data, cloud computing, blockchain, virtual reality, these are going to change our futures and the way we live our lives in very significant ways. However, there is one absolutely vital element to this revolution, and that is coders and software engineers. We need to have a lot more of them. We need to be encouraging young people to go into coding, and I think in particular, we need to be encouraging young women to go into coding. If you look at the numbers right now, you will see that we have quite a challenge on our hands. So in Europe, it is estimated that by 2020, there will be nearly one million unfilled IT jobs. And women are significantly underrepresented there. Only 30% of the IT workforce is made up of women. And only 19% of digital entrepreneurs are women. If you look at the United States, we have a similar story. By 2020, there will be 1.2 million software jobs in the United States. We are only graduating about a third of the students that we need in order to fill those jobs. And in the United States, we are actually going backwards in terms of women being in computer science. So if you look back to the 1980s, 37% of university computer science graduates were women. Today, that number is 18%. We need to fix this. Organizations like my own support a nonprofit called Girls Who Code. Girls Who Code is a great group. They reach out to girls of high school age from a variety of backgrounds. Girls come into the program. Most of them have had no exposure to coding at all. By the end of a seven-week seven, seven summer program, they have built websites, they've created apps, they have programmed robots to dance, and they have come out of that program with a new confidence um, from the skill that they have learned. Across the software industry, our members are promoting coding programs, donating millions to computer science, but we as an industry need to do more. And governments also need to do more. We should have lawmakers and policymakers pushing to have computer science at, at the early education levels. In the United States, my organization and others are encouraging our Congress to appropriate $250 million in federal funding to computer science. I know the European Commission is making some positive steps with the new skills agenda which is focused on bringing more women into the labor market. So there are positive things happening, but there is clearly more that we need to do. And I would say that teaching girls to code is not just about preparing them to have great careers. It will cause a profound shift in the software and tech landscape. And that will lead to more inventors, more creators, more production. So there's a big opportunity for economic growth here. Gender diverse companies are 15% more likely to financially outperform their non-diverse competitors. And I firmly believe that if we have more girl coders, our software will be more innovative, more creative, and more secure. It would be an enormous missed opportunity if a sector that is going to have as profound an impact on our lives as software misses out on the many talents of girls and women. But this is a challenge that we can rise to. So I say the time is now. Let's collectively work together to change the future for the better. Thank you very much.